A couple of days ago, I had the pleasure of watching the new Love, Simon movie, which is coming out really, really soon. And I just wanted to make this little video today to kind of talk about the impact it had on me. I honestly couldn't tell you the last time that I watched a movie that had such an enormous impact on me. When the movie ended, I remember kind of sitting in the little cinema and just, I just, <laughs> It sounds like I'm being really, really dramatic, and I guess I am, but I honestly kind of felt like that movie like completely paralyzed me. Like it had such an impact on me because I think, I, I, I text my best friend after I left the cinema and I said that this was the movie that I feel like i had been waiting my whole life to see. And I think the reason for that is that I'm almost 28 years old and I am a massive fan of cinema. Anyone that knows me knows that I absolutely love watching movies, love, love watching films. And for the first time in my life, for the first time in almost 28 years, I felt like I was seeing a real, true gay love story on the screen in front of me. And I know what you're probably thinking, I know you're probably sat there thinking, but Callum, there's loads and loads of gay films, there's loads of films with gay characters in them, and there absolutely are, but none of them had the same effect that this film had, because in this film, the, 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 the main character is just a gay kid, and that gay kid falls in love with somebody, and all the film does is quite simply tells that story. And I honestly, don't think that that is something that we have seen before. If I think about some of my favourite films, a lot of them do have gay characters in them. Prayers for Bobby is one of my favourite films of all time, and that tells the story of a gay kid, a gay teenager, who kills himself because his parents his, and his family and society doesn't accept him. And that is, that is one of my favourite films. That is the kind of representation that we're seeing on the screen. It's, it's, we're constantly being shown gay people who are struggling with their identity. We see gay people struggle to come out. We see gay people being beaten up, being treated badly by homophobes, being not accepted by their family and their friends. We see, you know, all these mental health problems and body image prob problems. And these are the stories that we see when it went, when we're shown gay people on TV and in cinema, these are the stories that we're shown over and over again. Now, I'm not saying that it isn't important to tell those stories, because it absolutely is. And some of these movies are my absolute favourite movies, and they make me absolutely bawl my eyes out, because these are true stories of gay people, and all of these terrible things have happened to gay people over the years, and they still happen to gay people to this day. But I think it's so, so important that that's not the only representation of gay people that we're seeing. I think it's also important to see gay people being happy, and particularly gay kids being happy, a gay teenager being happy, a gay teenager at a high school where he's accepted by people, and that he's able to kind of live out and play out this love story. Because honestly, can you name, can you name one other film that lets a gay character happily live out a love story, because I honestly can't. And if we even look at recent films, like the overwhelming success of Call Me By Your Name, which was an absolutely incredible movie, and I'm not disputing that, and I think it was incredible representation, but even that movie was incredibly sexualized. It was really heavily rooted in sex, and it was also so heavily rooted in a boy struggling to understand his identity. We see him having sex with girls, and experimenting, and falling for this stranger from out of town, and really having this internal crisis over who he is. And I guess this is a bit of a spoiler about Call Me By Your Name, so if you haven't seen it, maybe you want to switch this part off. Um, but that movie does not have a happy ending. That movie ends with Elio, one of the characters, sat crying his heart out over this guy that he can't be with. And yes, there's a lot of beauty and there's a lot of poetry in that scene, and it is an unbelievably beautiful ending. But it's not a happy ending, and I feel like gay people are very, very often denied a happy ending. And yes, I can think of a couple of examples of gay storylines in TV and film where there is a happy ending, but these stories are always subplots. You know, these gay characters are always kind of 
the supporting cast of the heterosexual protagonists and their storyline and I feel like the gay people are often there to throw around glitter and be the hilarious gay best friend and we so, so rarely get to see a gay protagonist quite simply living out a love story. I literally have not cried so much at a movie in my entire life. My, I was completely streaming with tears to the point that drop, massive drops of water were dripping from my chin and actually wetting my jeans. That is, that is how much that film made me cry. You know, this movie really reminded me that gay people can have a love story too. And I know that that may sound like such an obvious thing to say, because of course we can, but we're never told that we can. You know, I, I grew up watching movies like we all did, and I grew up watching Disney movies about princes and princesses, and I, and I grew up watching romantic comedies and all of these films, and like never being able to fully connect with those characters, never fully being able to go, that is me, never fully being able to put myself in, those pos in, in the position of those two characters and really, really feel what they're feeling. And I think that's the thing about Love, Simon. I feel like there are two types of people who will go and see this movie. I think gay people will go and see this movie and they're gonna feel like their heart has been ripped out of their chest. They're gonna feel like they're finally seeing themselves on the screen for the first time. And I honestly think it's going to completely blow people away. And, 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 I, and, I, and I can't imagine any gay person going to see this film and not absolutely falling in love with it and falling in love with the characters. And I think, and then I think straight people will go and see this movie. And I think they'll love it as well because it's, it's brilliant and it's funny and it's clever and it's witty and it's just a lovely, lovely story. But I feel like straight people won't have that connection to it. And I feel like straight people won't fully be able to appreciate how this makes gay people feel and how it feels to finally, finally, finally see yourself properly represented on the screen. And I think the way that Love, Simon manages to achieve all this is in its simplicity. There aren't all these convoluted plot lines and there isn't this like deep searching for him to understand his identity. Yes, he has a coming out story, he does, and that's part of the film. But it's a, it's a, it's a footnote of the film, like it's a small part of it. Coming out is a part of every gay person's life, but it's almost a footnote in that film. That is not the crux of the movie. The crux of the movie is a boy falling in love for the first time. And I just know that this is one of those movies that I will watch over and over again. I will probably watch this movie hundreds of more times in my life and I know I've only just seen it and I know it isn't even out yet but I can already safely say that this movie is already one of my favourite movies of all time and I don't think I will ever forget that the, the feeling it gave me when when I saw the finale of that movie and again I can't say what happens because I don't want to spoil it but when I saw that ending I can't describe the feeling I felt and I and I, I will never forget that. You know I know that this is a movie that I will watch when another guy has broken my heart and I'll probably be watching it on Netflix at 1am in the middle of the night and like crying my heart out and I know that you know this is probably a movie that I will watch with the guy I fall in love with, with the guy I marry one day. Like, it's just one of those movies and I'm so excited for the whole world to see it. Like, the world needs to see this movie. LGBT plus kids need to see this movie. I can only imagine how 14 year old Callum would have felt if he had seen this movie. If at 14 years old he had seen that, like, he had seen that he, he was allowed to be gay and that he could fall in love and live out a happy love story. Like, I can only imagine how that would make, how that, how that would have made me feel at that age. And I just know that there are so many kids out there that this film will really, really resonate with. And it's just so, so important. And I just, I hope that other filmmakers out there and I hope that other people around the world understand that the impact this film has and I don't want this movie to be a one-off. I don't want this movie to be a fluke. I don't want this movie to be 
the one story that tells a happy gay love story. I don't want that, that movie to be this. This should be the first, and it should be the first of many. And there are also all these other ways in which this film is incredible. Like, it has the most incredible soundtrack, which I have been listening to over and over again on repeat. And it was only when I was listening to it that I realised that all the songs are by LGBT plus artists and they're supporting LGBT plus musicians, which in itself is amazing. And even in the production of the film, they made sure to include LGBT plus people in the process of making the film. You know, they even reached out to me and tried to involve me in the process. About a year ago, I received an email saying, hey, we're making a film. I hadn't heard anything about this. I didn't know about the book or anything like that. And they reached out to me and said, hey, we're making a film. It's about um, a gay kid in school and it's a, it's a gay love story and we'd love you to be a part of it. And they invited me to go out to the set so that I could have a say in the production process and that I could be an extra in the film. Like, they, they tried to include me and they tried to include other voices in the community. Now, unfortunately, because of work and other commitments, I didn't actually get to go in the end, but two of my best friends in the world, Riyadh and Doug, who are also amazing LGBT plus content creators, they got to go there and they, get to, they got to do that and they got to be extras. So, you know, even while watching the film, I'm watching this amazing story. I'm seeing a gay love story. I'm hearing all these amazing LGBT plus artists. And then I'm seeing two of my best friends who are incredible LGBT plus influencers there in the background of the movie. Like they have gone above and beyond to make this the most inclusive movie that it could possibly be. So, I'm going to need everyone watching this video to go and watch this movie and go and support this movie and go and shout about how much you love this movie because you will love it. I just know that you will love it. And every single person I've spoken to who has seen this movie said that they loved it and said that they found it groundbreaking. So yes, please, please, please go and watch Love, Simon. I just wanna make it clear as well that this is not a sponsored video. I am not being paid to say this. I just had so many thoughts that I just needed to get them out. I was gonna like write a, like a Twitter thread about this and I was like, no, I need, I, need to, I need to talk at a camera and I need people to understand how much I love this and how it made me feel. I also really, really briefly want to talk about the book as well. So the film is based on an amazing book called Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. And literally the next day after watching the movie, I went straight to my local gay and lesbian bookshop and I bought a copy of this and I'm about, ha I'm about halfway through and I'm absolutely loving it. So thank you, Becky, for writing this book. It is amazing and it is going to change people's lives. And I don't know if she knew that when she was writing this how much of an effect it would have on people. And she probably had no idea that it was gonna be turned into this massive, amazing film. So congratulations to her, but also thank you because if this film was able to have an impact on me, a 28 year old, fairly adjusted gay man, you know, I can only imagine all the kids out there reading this and watching the movie and how it's gonna make them feel. So Becky, you're amazing. Like you would think that this had been written by a gay man, but it hasn't, it has been written by an ally of gay men. So, and that's a really, really beautiful thing in itself. So thank you for that. And read this book, it's, it's very good. I love it. So yeah, thank you for watching and thank you for listening to me talk about this. Um, if you are following me on social media, you will already see that I have not shut up about this movie and I'm probably not going to shut up about it until it comes out or ever. I probably will never shut up about how much I love this movie. My, if, for those of you who follow me on Tumblr, my Tumblr is just, when the movie comes out, my Tumblr is just gonna become gift sets of Love, Simon. Um, so yes, everybody needs to get on board with that. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are watching this from the future and you have already seen the movie, please do let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Or maybe if you've already read the book, let me know what you thought because I just want to, I just want to, spend time talking about this movie with everyone and my friends are already sick of me talking about it so yeah please do join me for a little discussion down in the comments below so yeah thank you so so much for watching and i will see you all very very soon see you later